Well, let's get more now on these protests from Eric Farnsworth. He's the vice president of the Council of Americas, the research group lobbying for free trade policies. He's live from Washington, D.C. Thank you very much, Eric, for being on Al Jazeera uh, once again. Thank In you. your opinion, is this just uh, the material shortages? That's, is it just the material shortages that's prompting Venezuelans to take to the streets today, or is there something more serious here? Well, I think it's more serious. It started with the material shortages uh, from everything from toilet paper to basic uh, food staples and all kinds of things that people would need to live on, but also on more complicated things like health care. But it has also been because of a deep frustration of the inability of the government to get uh, common crime under control and just the unsafety of the streets in Caracas and elsewhere. And so this is a, um, a primal scream, if you will, of the people of Venezuela that's been building for some time. It started peacefully about a week ago and it's escalated from there with a, a, a reaction by the government mm. that some would say has uh, uh, escalated the uh, activities. Why do you think precisely the government has reacted this way? Why is uh, Maduro ramping up the confrontation? Well, I think it's a really good question because the truth of the matter is uh, these frustrations in some way have existed for a long time. But I think there's a certain element of um, real concern that this time might be a little bit different. Uh, it's not just the so-called oligarchs or the people who are uh, the wealthiest of Venezuela who are protesting or are who, concer who are concerned. It's also the middle class. It's the students who are out in the streets, mm. uh, people that have traditionally at least been somewhat uh, willing to um, not be so vocal in their criticism of the government. So something's changed, and I think the, I think, uh, the, the Maduro government has seen that. It's also it's also interesting that uh, um, Leopoldo Lopez has uh, emerged as a real leader right. of the movement. He really hadn't been before, and I think the government is pointing to that as well. Right. As you say, Leopoldo Lopez has become the, the unofficial head of Venezuela's newly active opposition. What is he trying to achieve? What, what is his end game? Well, I think the end game ultimately is to have uh, the Maduro government out of power, but ever, uh, whether that comes through the electoral process or whether it comes through some other process, I don't think he's been very clear. Uh, normally, you would anticipate in a democracy that this would be democratic change. The next election uh, for president of Venezuela won't be for more than two years, though, so it's some time, uh, and I think a lot can happen between now and then. Eric Farnsworth, thank you very much for your insight. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.